up guys, Kyle and Gabe here. We're exploring an abandoned mausoleum. <laughs> it's not abandoned. Restart. <laughs> what is up guys, Kyle and Gabe here, and we are going to be exploring a mausoleum. <laughs> I'm driving. We're going to this massive graveyard in Mount Scott. Half of it is military and half of it is civilians. This part of the cemetery is gonna be all civilians. We are having some trouble getting in right now. Um, it is like every entrance is completely locked up right now. We're gonna walk around again. Um, we're gonna try to find a way in, but not looking too promising right now. So this place is like five or six stories tall. Cause it goes like up three and then like down two or three, so. It is pretty big. Let's go check it out. So we were trying to find a way in to the mausoleum. We found this path here. A weird looking building. We're gonna check it out, see how far it goes. I wonder how long this place has been abandoned for. security cameras. Like raise their face out. Yeah. That's weird. It looks like a face. Chick fil A. Some fresh air. Looks like the path keeps going, so we're gonna check up here. So the, we think this is just a hike. <laughs> Yeah. So, we're gonna head back to the mausoleum and try to get into that. But so far, we have not gotten very much. So, we'll catch you back in a minute.
some that is, I think. <laughs> Look at how dark it is, guys. It's so silent that it just literally like irks you to your core. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that is scary. We're sorry if we're being really quiet, but I don't want to disrespect. We, yeah, we want to be respectful, and this place is huge, so sound care. So we don't want to get kicked out carrying around a tripod. Cheers. There's a lot of really weird noises in this place, mostly just because it's old. Um, there also could be someone in here. This place is huge, so we probably wouldn't know. There's also thousands and thousands of dead bodies in here. Definitely just heard footsteps like right here. Right there. Right down there. And right above us, there was walking. Right above us, more footsteps. There's obviously no one up here. We, we have 
if you just hear footsteps. Isn't this the same place? Yeah. This is where we were earlier, and it just went, the cameras went blurry. Let's, let's see camera. if we can reproduce it again. It smells so bad. He's looking right at you, dude. Is it, are you serious? Dude. I literally have shivers. Did you hear that? I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm literally crying right now. Dude, my whole body is like goosebumps. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I'm like getting like fight or flight response. Like when there was a little, we were standing here trying to see if it would go blurry again. And then like in this area right here, there was like, like that and that like actually, I almost started running. Dude, I, we, I say we sit in those two chairs right there and ask a couple of questions. With our backs to the wall, it feel like here it feels like nothing, but back there it's like there's something with you. It feels like you know yeah, what I mean. It feels. It's you feel like pressure. you're yeah. You feel like a little bit of pressure in your head. There's something near us. If there's somebody here, please move something. You can use whatever energy you want to talk to us right now. something about this wall right here. That was a hiss. Should we leave? Yeah.
the taser. So we just explored the mausoleum finally. We heard footsteps upstairs. There wasn't anything upstairs. And it smelled bad, like it smelled really bad. Like in some in some areas it smelled old. Yeah, in some areas you could really smell it. Then we got to that one wall. It, the face we we felt or at least I felt like pressure in my chest. It was really warm there, so it felt like it was like like kind of like soaking you into the area. But as soon as you stepped out from behind like the walls right here, as soon as you stepped on either side of it, it like left you. And the camera kept going blurry. Yeah. In that one section right there. Which could have been because of how dark it was, but I mean it was dark in plenty of areas. And both times that we were in that area, it went blurry. While we were checking to see if the blurriness was looking at the wall, there was a voice literally right next to us like feet from us and there was obviously no one where it came from but it was distinctly like or something like I don't know I can't, I can't even like I wasn't like gonna cry actually but I felt that like fear like wash over me and we were about to bolt but I like said we should stop and try to talk to whatever it was which just that scared me so bad that was like the realest like it did I don't even it probably did not pick up on the camera and it was a small thing, but that right there is like huge for me, especially. I don't know, that was just really, that like affected me a lot, I feel like. That's, that area is where we found the most activity, other than upstairs hearing footsteps. Mm -hmm. The downstairs, in that area particularly, it was just, you could feel the changes in energy as you continue walking down. Every area, f like, felt cold and eerie, like, pretty cold. Like, we were kind of like, that little, that, like, square, that tiny area right there. You have, like, the eyes of that person. You see your eyes, like, bright blue. Yeah, I saw that. I, that was, it freaked me. One wall. With all, there's a ton of names right there. More than what could fit. Like, there might be ashes, like, little ash compartments. But... That per that guy's face, like staring right at you. Yeah, and we didn't see the face until the second time we went down there. One minute. But yeah, so we heard a lot of noise, and overall, it's just a really like eerie place. We checked the whole place basically, like not all on footage, but we checked almost all of it, or all of it. I'd yeah, say. definitely no one. See you guys in the next one. Plenty more stuff coming. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Like. Follow us on Instagram. And turn on bell notifications. Count me. See you next time.